let's uh, give you a you know a brief tour of Photoshop Touch, which is the Adobe app for Photoshop users on the tablet. Mm. So you can just select any photo from your local folder. Now this this uh, video is just about giving you the idea for the basic layout. So you have stuff like all your toolbars right here. So you have uh, the marquee tool, marquee selection tool, circle selection tool, lasso selection tool, polygon lasso tool, uh, magic wand tool, then your scribble selection tool, this is the brush selection tool, paint, spray tool, clone stamp, healing brush, eraser, blur tool and smudge tool. So that's the toolbar and each tool has its own contextual menu like if you open uh, you know say the blur tool you will get a brush and a blur so if you open a say scribble tool you will get stuff like keep remove so these are you know contextual menus related to these particular tools if you open clone for instance you will get brush and source which you know you have to select a source and then keep on cloning it for paint you have options like you know selecting the brush size uh, selecting the mode that you want to do other settings Oops. on top here you have the back button an option to add photographs or images from sources such as your local photos the creative cloud your camera or from Google or Facebook so yeah that way it has some social connectivity mm, this comprises your tools like cut, copy, copy, merge, paste etc. these are your selection tools so you know you can select inverse or feather or refine edge options from here Coming on the right side, uh, you have the pan and resize tool. So you have your adjustments, which include all these different adjustment types, such as uh, brightness, contrast, levels, mm, curves. So, yeah, I mean, you've got your adjustment tools from Photoshop this is effects tab so we have effects like Gaussian blur, directional blur, bevel sorry stylistic effects like a half tone, threshold, posterize, artistic like charcoal, acrylic paint and photo in this old CPR, grainy, night mode Here you have options such as cropping, resizing the image, fill and stroke, adding text. Mm. Add a gradient. quite intuitive that way you can even change the colors you know so let's see how one uh, that's not so yeah you can playing around with the effects have a fading tool, we have wrap at and fill and this is an option to go into the full screen mode. Oops, yeah. The maximum size of this can be 1600 to 1600 pixels and it can only zoom up to 400 percent. You can add a maximum of 16 layers in this. Multi layer, duplicate layer, photo layer. So you know you can add like around up to 16 layers on this these are your 
blending mode options you know so you get the normal options that you get in photoshop so darken multiply lighten etc so that was a quick tour of the photoshop interface let's check out some tutorials now <laughs>